Hello everybody. Now this is a, a follow-up video to the video I done yesterday about the Mercedes, the diesel. Uh, I was trying to find, you know, a sink uh, in order to get my compression test. So a few of you guys, guys and girls chimed in to see, uh, came up with ideas. So one of them is a guy I follow regular, is Philip Bailey. He spoke about the pressure, using a pressure transducer. Now, actually, Philip, I had forgot all about that. I had that in my toolbox. It never even occurred to me to use that. So I've used that one before, but thanks for chiming that in. So that's one we can use as a pre pressure transducer right in through the glow plug hole. Incidentally, this is just a wee Vauxhall course engine just to demonstrate the principle. Now, there's another one of my subscribers called Solid Diagnostics. He came up with this idea, and I never even thought of this. So his idea was... You take the camshaft sensor, that's the camshaft on this, and you take one of the injectors. Now, I've just picked number two eh, for this purpose. And <coughs> because the, the firing order, you know, that's one, two, three, four. So the firing order of this car is one, three, four, then two. So once, you've got, once you know what one you're on and, and the firing order you have, you can work out the rest. So he said, you get, you see where the injection is in relation to the camshaft sensor. Did I say crank? You see where the injection event occurs in relation to the camshaft sensor. So I'll show you that in the scope. I'll just use my Pico scope. So, and it's just one side of the injector and the middle pin of the cam, which is the square wave output, and both are onto the negative side of the battery. So I have my scope set up here. I'll show you that. This garage is in some mess. So you can see that I've used my attenuator. I'm at the 100 volts eh, on the blue channel and 10 volts on the red channel. And that goes at the red channel is the camshaft, the blue channel is the crankshaft, the, the blue channel is the injector. And you can see there on my little scope, I've used my cheap hand tape attenuator two, 20 to 1 on channel E and just a normal channel B. So we'll start that up and I'll let you see the waveform. So there's the car running and we'll just pause that. So we'll just work away at the screen here. So we'll just go back a screen. And what we can do first of all is we can clean up this pattern. So we're going to the blue channel first of all. And I think we're going to enhancement. I think if we go to nine, that's a wee bit better. Leave that one at that and then we'll go to the red channel. We'll enhance that as well. We'll go to nine as well. Oh, that looks good. So we'll just select a portion of this waveform. Just take it there. So that, as you can see, is the lobe on the camshaft. So it must just be one lobe per 720 degrees. So the tricky bit is working out what actually is the injector event, because that's why yesterday I used uh, an amps clamp. And what I've discovered is this is the injector event here. See when you see this bit here going to ground, that is when that injection is taking place on that injector because you also get what I call crosstalk or crossfeed. See that one there? That is the the event, well, the way it must be wired, that is the event on cylinder. So this is one, three, four, and two. This must be the same event on cylinder three. But we can ignore that for this purpose. So if we, we went into injector three, we would see this this pattern taking place here when it takes it to ground, because I'll prove that there. So there you go that one's going down to the ground so you know the injection events taking place on two so what that means is when we come to do a relative compression test I'll just, uh, there we go so when we do a relative compression test we're looking for cylinder two to be synced roughly in this position so there i'm still at the camshaft sensor and i've connected to the battery positive and the battery of the negative battery negative so I want to stop the car from starting on this occasion so the easiest way to do it on this one is 
let the thing just disconnect all the injectors that's right so we'll do away with that and we'll just we don't need any of the injectors there we go so you can see all the injectors are disconnected and we're still at the camshaft and the battery's connected so we'll go and check the scope running that looks fine we'll reset it and we'll go and crank it over so that's me done by cranking compression test hit the space bar go back one there we go let's go in here again so we knew that our our event so that would be two was there that's right so we're just before that so there you go that's uh, where the injector two would be firing just there so that's one three four two so that'll be one three four two so that, that test works brilliantly. So a big thank you to Solid Diagnostics. I'm going to be using that in the future. That's going to be a big time saver. That'll save me a whole lot of hassle than the, the carry-on I had yesterday. If I knew that then, oh, they've been there 10 minutes. Anyway, thank you. This is how we all learn by helping each other and everybody chip in. Any idea you have, pass them on. And I'm very, uh, very happy to test them out and post them up for everybody to benefit. So thanks again. Cheers.